so we have a we have a very very narrow niche of people that we serve and we understand them better than they understand themselves and we've built all of our systems around catering to that one specific individual and it's just all about i'm a very systems driven person the key to our success within our company and our system and it's a little thing that i like to call riches in niches the most important thing that you can do when you're getting started in the insurance business which is the same as if you're getting started in the real estate business which is the same if you're getting started in the mortgage business which is the same if you're getting started started anywhere you have to figure out who you're going to sell to talk about this a lot but it's getting insanely narrowly focused on one niche on one demographic on one group of people and going all in and building all of your systems around that one group of people. Because if you try to build a financial advisory business, trying to be all things to all people, you end up being nothing to no one. It's a fact. It doesn't matter what your business is. To find a narrow, narrow, narrow group of people that you can market to, that you can target, that you can sell to, and then build all of your systems around exactly how that group of people is best sold. It's, it's not easy, nothing significant is. It's not easy when you're first getting started and, and as you're in the process of growing your business to, to turn away business. And I'm not saying turn it away, but I'm saying do not actively pursue being all things to all people. Get crazy narrow, like the most narrow you can possibly think and then go about three levels deeper can't do everything you can't sell everything you can't talk to everyone and you spread yourself too thin and you become an expert in nothing you want to be seen as an expert in a very specific area to a very specific group of people you have to study exactly what to say to that group of people how to say it to that group of people what to wear when meeting with that group of people what to have your hair look like when you're meeting with that group of people the inflections in your voice the way like every little thing what type of handouts that that group of people um uh respond to what type of you know phone call what kind of like every single aspect needs to be based around tailoring your message to that one narrow 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 group of people and in that process when you're trying to figure that out you know who is that group of people Please choose a group of people that you at least enjoy being around, that you enjoy working with, that you enjoy spending time with. Because think about it, work is a huge portion of your life. Why would you choose a demographic of people that you hate being around or that you don't like being around? It's ridiculous. So choose a group of people that you love helping, that you love talking to, that you love being able to provide solutions to get narrowly focused on that specific target. And I don't mean people from the age of 30 to 55, period. No, maybe it's ex-military. Maybe it's veterans ages 30 to 45 that are just transitioning out of the military, that just live on this particular side of town, that are just focused on the need for this one particular product, and then become an expert, laser focused on building all your systems around solving the problems of that person and that's how you get it.